Havoc rifle here. Takes a sec to warm up, but very powerful. Wingman here. Great for headshots if you got a skull piercer. Got it. Don't say it. Spitfire here. Good mid-range suppression. On. Hey everyone, Thor and Smash here, and we've got a lot to cover today in regards to the upcoming Legends, the new leaked map, and some stuff that hasn't been talked about yet, along with the upcoming Town Takeover that will be coming with the collection event, so we're going to cover that all. We're also going to give out 50 bucks, so all you got to do is like, comment, subscribe, you guys know the drill, but without further ado, let's talk about Apex. Let's go ahead and actually start this video off with simply saying that Blisk is actually not going to be the Season 13 Legend, he is now offline, and all signs, according to different sources, say that it is going to be Newcastle, who I covered in a video a couple days ago. But moving on from that let's talk about the collection event first we thought it was going to be march 29th because that's when the big update happened then crowd let us know that the playlist received an update and everything got pushed back from april 5th to april 8th and that would be likely the start of the warriors collection event but now just yesterday crowd rendo also let us know they started testing the 12.1 mid-season update which was supposed to launch originally like i said on march 29th so now it might actually come sooner than we thought and hyper missed a great youtuber was actually able to data mine and find what the collection event loot ticks will look like and this is it right here as you can see it has a little bit of blood smear on it as it is a gladiator event so you'll need to get all 24 of these to get the new crypto heirloom now in terms of town takeovers let's go ahead and start with bangalore i can actually confirm that bangalore has a completed town takeover it's actually this location on the map right here next to the ship crash and right below barometer and it is the biggest town takeover they've ever made it covers the entire area it's got three different levels to it it almost kind of looks like a military installation or a firing range area this actually lines up with what developers have said about the changes they want to see at storm point because they want to add more things to it and not take things away from the map like they have done with previous maps. And Kral Rindo on December 7th let us know that they did do a map update in the files for Tropic Island. It was MU1, and this was before the first split of Season 11 had ended. Due to the fact that leakers knew that the town takeover was completed, it was very much thought that this was going to come with Bangalore Story from the Outland. However, we actually never saw it, and it is definitely possible this could end up being the town takeover we see for Storm Point for the Warriors Collection event. A firing range also makes a ton of sense for the military installation, fitting with that theme. There is also the possibility that because they weren't able to push it out with the Bangalore story from the outland, they scrapped it, which is totally a possibility, which would be unfortunate because this looks like it took a ton of work to actually make. But if they did indeed scrap it, then we are likely looking at a lifeline town takeover on Olympus, which fits with the plot point of Octane and his dad and Olympus falling out of the sky and everything going on with that. And we even have a voice line for lifeline, which talks about a med center. Med station here. The reason we know that the med center likely has something to do with lifeline's town takeover is that every legend actually has two med station voice lines however lifeline has four which would seem to indicate that it has something to do with her town takeover or she has some unique connection with it the last thing i'm going to cover is going to be the new moon map that was leaked about a month ago by demon bjor most of you have seen the image by now we do know that it is a pretty old image and that it is very much a work in progress however we do know some additional information that hasn't been talked about yet such as the fact that the map will have change of gravity aspects to it so possibly we can jump higher which would be very interesting i don't know how that would work out in such a fast-paced shooter as apex legends that could have also always have changed but also from other additional stuff that i've heard and seen it is going to be sort of a mix of olympus and titanfall 2 in terms of map style and there's also parks located all over the area so i imagine this is actually much more urban than this image gives off that it is going to be much more of a stylized city with more close quarter combat let me know down below would you rather have a military installation bangalore style town takeover or do you want the med centers on olympus with lifeline and until next time, Legends, keep slaying in the Outlands, and I'll see you out there.